Okay guys, Miguel again here with Farmers Roofing. Doing another training video today. Today we are going to go over Rufar. Rufar is the software we use to measure out the roofs. So in this video I'm going to go over uh, pretty much how the report looks like, what um, a little bit about waste factor, um, the different types of roofs, and what their waste factor will be. So we're just going to hurry up and uh, dive right in. Okay, so let's talk about waste factor. What is waste factor? Waste factor is the waste that occurs when we install a roof. How roof shingles and, and roofing products are designed are pretty much installed. You know, um, for example, with shingles, it's installed from bottom corner up. You know, it's in the diagonal, and you know you reach gable ends, you reach. Uh, valleys, hips, and once you get to that point, you have to cut the shingle. The same thing with metal and tile, you have to cut the thing in order to be able to put the cap on the hips, or we just got to the edge and you don't want shingles overlapping, so you want a straight cut on the rake end. All that is waste, and that's why there is waste factor, and you have to determine that when you're pulling out the roof. Now, some roofs have, um, you know, 10%, 12%, or 15%. So, for example, like on the screen right now, we have uh, shingle roofs are usually either gonna be 10 as for a gable, 12% as a hip, and then if the hip gets kinda complicated, excuse me guys, it's going to be, um, there's gonna be more waste, okay? So, metal roofs are typically, uh, five to ten years or five or ten percent tile roofs we usually bid them out at 15 flat roofs are usually five percent because there's really not much waste okay so we're going to jump into the, the next slide all right so this is page one of the uh roof R report as you can see you see aerial view and this right here is the house that uh I measured out, and this is typically how page one looks. It's just an aerial view of the actual roof. All right, so on page two, you usually have pretty much the design of the roof. As you can see, the front has uh, gable ends. There's gable ends here, gable ends here, gable ends here. And then you got the valleys. So pretty basic, you know, average house. Um, on the second page here, you have you know the measurements of each area and then one thing good about this you have the eaves so let's say most houses the eaves have gutters boom and if they want gutters all the way around all these you know exactly i would go to 94 linear feet that's how you know um also you know let's you know the ridge so let's say you needed to get um figure out let's say they want a ridge vent you know typically a ridge vent you want to do 18 inches from the ends so, you know, for example, like this 47, um, if they wanted to add a ridge vent here, you know, I would go in at, uh, let's see, 18 times 18, you know, it's almost a little over three feet. I would say go with like, you know, 44 feet in the price of ridge vent for the main ridge there. And the same thing for right here, go 26 feet in the pricing. But, you know, you get all that for some of this information right here. And this is on page three of the report. Also, it's good to print this out if you're doing a gutter diagram so that you can put where they want the gutters and the downspots. This is typically what we would print out for you to do the gutter diagram, okay? All right, so third page here pretty much gives you the square footage and feet of each section here. All right, and then here it'll tell you the different pitches in every area. I'm glad I put this one in here because this is super important. If you ever find something like this, that means that area was not accounted for. Probably a pitch wasn't put here or, you know, which was my mistake, I probably <laughs> didn't put the pitch right there, but that's why it's missing. So it's not accounting for that area. So um, you can always go back to that other um, slide that, that had the square footage everywhere and they'll tell you the square footage of that area and then you can add it in. Okay, this is uh, 
page six. This has pretty much um, the layout and it breaks down all the linear foot of everything that's involved with the roof. Um, as you can see here, it showed that it that like half a square, almost a, a third of a, uh, two thirds of a square. Um, well, you can say, yeah, a two thirds. We always round up and then the rest of it's without any waste is 28. Um, point uh, eight squares, but this right here is calculated into both of these. That's why you see the 29.2. Okay, um, should be free, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna let that one be. Um, so you see how there's different waste factors right here. So um, this is at zero percent waste factor, ten percent, twelve percent. 15% and so on. Usually with shingles, you're gonna be pertaining with these three here. Metal, it'll be in between. Sometimes with metal, you're gonna to have to um, uh, go by um, uh, the total square footage, which is this, and then, then do 0.5 or point, you know, um, 0 0.05 or 0.1 to get the waste percentage factor and then add it to that number. Again, we'll go back into calculations and when we're doing um, the estimates, but this is just for pretty much for you to understand how to read a roof R report. Okay, and then you got the page number seven. This is pretty much how everything um, pretty much is uh, broken down. It'll tell you how many bundles you're gonna need for um, 0%. So like right here, if for certainty landmark is telling you you need 98 bundles, um, of the regular architectural shingles for uh, with 10% waste, you would need for the, the starter shingles at 10%, you would need three. Um, for the valleys, how many rolls. Um, for the underlayment, roof runner, it, I'll tell you you need four rolls, but this is without the 50% the overlap. So it's a little different. It'd be more like double that. Um, probably in seven rolls. Um, and then for the capping, for the hip and ridge, the shadow ridge here at 10%, you're looking at, uh, we're going across, four bundles, okay? And then, you know, we have other drip edge, everything here. You don't have to worry too much about this because you're not gonna be ordering the material, but you have to make sure that a roof R is in your, um, your job Nimbus documents, mm -hmm. so, okay. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna, um, I'm gonna break things down a little bit and teach you guys, uh, different roofs and what waste percentage you're gonna go at um, with those uh, particular roofs. So this right here, it's a regular standard up and over, um, gave a roof 10% waste factor on this. And that's because again, the shingles are in a diagonal. So once you get to here, there's gonna be a lot of waste on the, on the rakes. So, um, but just about 10% of waste, okay? So we're gonna go into the next Slide. This was the, the other part of the roof R for that first roof I told you. So it was roughly 18.1 squares for 10% uh, waste. I would go 18.33 for 18 and a third. Okay. And that's how I would price out this roof here. Okay. Now, if it was a little bit more complicated, then you go down, there's more stuff to it. But this one in particular, was the 18 percent waste okay now this right here would be a 12 percent waste type roof this is a hip and ridge roof pretty standard you see this very common roof layout but this would be uh, a hip and ridge roof and we would go 12 percent waste factor on this one okay so at 12 percent we would be at 25.6 so again when I do my pricing I'm gonna go in at 25.66 so let me break down the square so when it comes to measuring them and you're giving your pricing so this one is 0.6 so we would go two-thirds of a square two-thirds of a square is 0.66 one-third of a square would be 0.33 and if you get to 0.99 of course you're gonna round that up so this was 25.9 or for example right here we're at 22 percent it was 27.9 we would just go 28 percent okay so i hope i 
broke that down as simple as possible. And then like here, 26%, if we went 15, 26.33 times whatever square price we're at, okay? All right, moving on to the next. All right, now this one here, when you start getting all crazy, and these, like a roof like this, where like uh, there's a lot of different valleys and there's rakes and they needed, go 15%, okay? Because there's gonna be waste in these valleys, there's gonna be waste right here in these hips. Um, of course, the rake end's gonna have waste, but in here, all this right here is gonna be waste. This would be like a 15% um, waste factor you wanna to wanna to go in. Now, they get a lot more complex than that, but I'm just wanting to give you an idea of what I mean by 15% waste factor. So again, this one will be a 15% waste factor. Now, um, this is in between 0.66 and 99, so obviously I would just go 39. This goes flat out 39 squares and 39 times whatever our per square price is. Pretty self-explanatory. So I think that's just about it. That was the last slide. So I hope you guys got a better understanding um, of uh, the roof art reports, what waste factor is, and also um, how you're going to price out certain roofs. Gable roofs are gonna be at 10%. A standard hip and ridge, 12%. Now, if you got a, a hip and ridge roof that has hips and ridge in the hips and ridge and dead valleys and all this crazy, you're gonna go around 50%, so maybe even more. So um, if you have any questions or if you have a crazy roof like that, you want my opinion, give me a call um, or tag me in job nimbus with, the, with the, the roof report. Say, hey, look, just looked at the roof R. I'm about to do the estimate. I'm not too sure where I should go waste factor wise. Trust me, I will let you know. So that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you guys close more deals, make more money. Okay. So I hope you guys got a lot from the video. Again, subscribe to the channel. So that you know when all the new videos are coming and uh you know again like i always tell you guys get out there get in front of people and go make that money till next time